Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor. Today, we're going to look at investing in Costa Rica, particularly in the Riverland development in Tamarindo. So let's see where we are. This is going to be a packed webinar, so stay with me. I'm going to go pretty quick. But by the time we're done, you're going to know a lot about Tamarindo. You're going to know a lot about investing in this property. I'm going to go through all that you need to know, all the numbers. You're going to see all the numbers. You need to make a good investment decision. Ready? Let's go. So first of all, where are we? Uh, here's Ottawa here, and here's Toronto. Okay. And there's Tamarindo right down here in the beautiful Guanacaste province of Costa Rica. Here we are. And you can see Tamarindo is a very popular town. Um, it commands very high prices. As you know, Costa Rica goes by U.S. dollar. I'm just hovering over some properties here in Google to see. Now, this is uh, the end of the high season. We're going into the middle season. So you can see some rates here. And we are looking into investment property, into income property in Costa Rica that we could use to live in, retire, live, use a few months a year, give it to friends, or we can just give it to the property management to get the tenants for us and do everything we need. So this is a complete turnkey operation, okay? You don't need to go to Costa Rica. You don't need to worry about the property manager. You don't need to worry about the towels dirty. Everything is taken care of for you, okay? The prices are very good in my opinion, and so are the returns. So let's start. Now, I'm going to give you a very, very quick uh, view here, a bit of Tamarindo, because it's really cute. Yes, I've been there, and I've been through the process myself, and it is what's called the up-and-coming town. It's the south beach of Costa Rica, or maybe the south beach of whole Central America. Now, you'll see a few of these towns in the area, which are kind of like that. They're mixed towns, which are some are locals and some are tourists and some are expats that live there around the year, around the clock. Uh, here's the Tamarindo River. Okay, it's a beautiful bay. The town itself is a small town. The last I checked was about 8,000 population, but there are many, many, many tourists coming in this town. And this town is bustling. It's got a huge beach. It's got lots and lots of restaurants. It's got tons of hotels. It's got lots of stuff to do. It's got the beautiful nature that Costa Rica has to offer. There was another video here. It'll give you just a bit, uh, another view of the town, some of the real estate. The real estate is very, very expensive in Costa Rica. And the last I checked, it was going up by 20 to 25% a year, uh, year over year. Now, a lot of Canadians and Americans are buying in Costa Rica. As a matter of fact, uh, the stats I looked last talk about Americans are the number one foreign investors in Costa Rica. And guess what? Canadians are second close. Why is that? Because Costa Rica is affordable. Because for the price of condo in Toronto, not that large condo, you can get a whole house in Costa Rica and it's going to be fully managed. And according to the numbers you'll see here, it's going to come out with a positive cash flow. This is a good investment. Now, you all know that the problem in Toronto and in Ontario now is the price of real estate is so high that it's very hard, even with high rents, very, very high to cover up for your costs, let alone to make some money. So this uh, answer this this question of how can I invest my money? And yes, you can leverage here. And yes, you can get a mortgage here. It's very similar to what we do in Canada. Look at this beautiful uh, Tamarindo. And I'll show you how to do it right here, right now. Okay. So these are uh, just videos just to kind of get your appetite going. But let's go right to the nitty gritty. Okay. And just so you know, um, in this presentation, I'm going to focus on the investment I'm not going to teach you so much about Costa Rica or Tamarindo. You can do it on your own. If you're watching this video, you've probably been there already. You're probably thinking about it. You probably looked at some properties. So I just looked at Point Two Homes. It's a great site here. The agents upload. It's an international site. You can see what you can get. And I just uh, punched in Tamarindo, Guanacaste, uh, Costa Rica, the beautiful coast. And you can see the prices are serious here, okay? These are beautiful properties. All these homes are beautiful, white uh, maybe colonial kind of style architecture. It's it's also very Latin American, obviously. Uh, and the prices are high. Okay, so you can look at those. Um, I got here a page, and I'll leave all these links for you to review. It's called International Living. And this is a great website. It's got a very long article about living in Costa Rica. And I'm not sure when it was updated last, but it's going to give you a very good idea of what it is. Now, again, I think that you've already been to Costa Rica. You already looked 
at some at some of the amenities and you look at some properties and you look at real estate uh, and you know how expensive Canada is, but how many Canadians, you probably know a whole bunch of people that went to Costa Rica and just bought a place and that's it. A bunch of my personal friends done that too. So I'm going to go now through the broker presentation. I'm going to dive right into the numbers, right into the investments. Then I'm going to show you, okay, so here we go right here. Then I'm going to show you a little bit, really just a couple minutes about Costa Rica and Tamarindo because that's your homework to do. I'm going to go right back into the actual property. Now, what really um, was attractive to me in this property is the three L's. And if you watch my previous videos, uh, the first L is location. Tamarindo is the location to be, okay? That's the South Beach, the Florida of Costa Rica. Okay, so you're right here. Uh, airport's not that far. It's a beautiful town. It's safe. It's still reasonably cheaper than U.S. or Canada. Uh, living is great. The, the water is clean. Costa Rica is a lovely country. It is very, very green. Uh, I believe it's carbon neutral or close to it. It's a great place to live. Okay, Everyone speaks English. It's all good. This is the small town that we're focusing on. Now, this is going to be one of on, on the price scale, it's going to be a bit high on the Costa Rican price scale. But what you get in return is a full-on town that someone that's coming from North America would feel very comfortable living. And that's why it's doing so well on the tourism. And that's why if you check the Airbnb or you check the uh, uh, the site, the point to home that I showed you, the price are very high. And that what gives us the returns that as real estate investors, we no longer can get in Toronto. Okay, so that money that we are able to invest in Toronto is now looking for other avenues. So first we looked at the suburbs and we went to, and now we're here in Costa Rica. So let's let's take a deep dive here. So this property is absolutely gorgeous. It's well designed. There are a total of uh, 64 homes here. OK, 